guys and welcome back to the player YouTube channel. It's a little bit noisy, I'm on a main road, but I'm on a very, very historic road. And you're probably wondering why I'm stood in front of an old doorway. This doorway is 104 years old and it belongs to none other than the Morgan Motor Company here in Malvern. And I've got the opportunity to show you around the factory today. This company is an iconic place and I've been privileged with the honour of going round and having a look how they build the Morgan motor cars. Henry Frederick Stanley Morgan was the founder and the man who guided the destiny of the Morgan car for almost 50 years. Harry, as he was known to family and personal friends, or simply HFS throughout the industry, was born in the village of Morton Jeffreys, Herefordshire, in August 1881. Harry bought his first car in 1902, an Eagle Tandem which was replaced in June 1904 by a little star. It's a well-built machine from the Star Motor Company in Wolverhampton. In May 1905, with the encouragement and financial support from his father, HFS purchased a house in Malvern Link, a short distance from the railway station, and there he built a small garage alongside it. Here he set up his business to attend to the needs of the Edwardian motorists and became a dealer for likes of Dirac, Wolseley, Sidley and Rover cars. The success of the Morgan Motor Company was founded on an icon, the Morgan three-wheeler. This brilliant but simple design became one of the most successful lightweight cars of the early days of motoring. The principle of fitting a powerful motorcycle engine and simple transmission into a lightweight chassis and body inspired a new type of vehicle which generically became known as the cycle car. The prototype was constructed in 1909 and was a simple three-wheeler with a tubular steel chassis fitted with a seven horsepower Peugeot V-twin engine. One of its main features was the unusual power to weight ratio of 90 brake horsepower per tonne, which enabled this little vehicle to accelerate as fast as any car being produced at that time. In 1911, a two-seater runabout was developed, equipped with steering wheel and even a hood. This proved a huge commercial success when it appeared at Olympia in 1911. This novel machine attracted the interest of the managing director of Harrods, and as a result, the car appeared in the shop window of the famous store, this is the only car ever to have done so. Harrods then became the first Morgan dealer with an exclusive deal to sell all Morgan runabouts. In December 1913, HFS purchased a plot of land on Pickersley Road, Morgan Link. This was open farmland, just a quarter of a mile from the Worcester Road factory. And here, in the summer of 1914, two large workshops were built. This is now the site of the present factory, which has traditionally been known as the Works. When peace returned in 1918, Morgan was one of the first manufacturers to resume a full production, mainly due to the simplicity of the design. Most manufacturing operations were now moved from the original Worcester Roadworks to the new factory in Pickersley Road. New models were added to the Morgan range, and for the first time a four-seater family runabout was available. This was launched at the Olympia Show in London in November 1911. Throughout the 1920s, the Morgan continued to have success after success in racing and was so fast that at Brooklands it was required to start a lap behind four-wheeled cars in the same class. Likewise, Morgans were dominant on the trials hills, where they won more medals and more trophies than any other comparable machine. Following the successes of the earlier cars, the Super Aero was immediately in action on the trials hills and on the racetrack. Morgans remained at the forefront of competitive motoring and even Harry's daughters were seen at Donington at an ACU rally. Robust and reliable, Morgans were also exported worldwide, as with this example seen alongside the Egyptian pyramids. In 1936, after a prototype had been tested in trials and on the track, a four-wheeler was exhibited at the London and Paris exhibitions. The new model was called the Morgan 4.4. This was to differentiate it from the three-wheeler, indicating four cylinders and four wheels. Perhaps this brief history of the Morgan car is best summed up by its inventor, HFS Morgan himself, who said of his life's work shortly before he died in 1959, looking back through the years, seeing both the errors and the triumphs in their correct perspective, I feel I have enjoyed it all. The motor trade has been, so far as I'm concerned, a most interesting business. Peter Morgan continued the passion and today the Morgan Motor Company enjoys continued success with inspired new designs and the direction of the current management. So we started outside with a 104 year old door in the main building. This was the original factory right here, 1914. It was the outbreak of the First World War. I mean, and this building is still here 
It's still got all those feelings inside it. Come and have a look around because there's some iconic cars in here. And this is a wonderful place to book a tour and come and have a walk around. Obviously, we've been given the actual privilege of walking around here on our own today. What a car. Straight away, you can see this is a more modern version of the Morgan. This is the Aero, one of my favourite cars of all time. And over the back here, we've got some racing versions of this car as well. There's cups on the wall, trophies. It's a proper old look. Here we are in the chassis workshop, and I'm having to get my teeth around this chassis business. And, well, just look around here. This is where all the four-wheel cars are made at Morgan Motors. And I'm with Andy Turner. Andy, lovely to meet you, and sorry to interrupt. Sorry. They're very busy okay. here, by the way. Lovely right. to meet you, sir. Hello, all right. I'm very good, thank you. Tell me, what is your job role here? Uh, I'm the assembler in the chassis shop. Yeah. So basically, it just involves assembling the uh, rolling or driving uh, chassis. Chassis, yeah. Um, we get the tubs in and fit the engine in. Well, everything really. And wow. At the end of it, we turn, turn the key, fill up fuel, turn the key, and start it up. And it just Are you actually starting the when they're sitting on the chassis? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's when it when it's completely finished. We'll, wow. We'll, um, we'll start them up. Just we'll do some tests, the drive cycle. Thought then, you wouldn't uh, do that till it was finished. No, no, no. We do that before the body goes on. Right. So that gotcha. we get any issues and problems and whatever. Yeah, I suppose it's covered in a yeah. body work. It's a lot easier. Yeah, How long yeah. have you been doing this? Uh, I, I, well, I've only been here about seven years. So only, you know, the, <laughs> only, only at Morgan. Yeah. Uh, it's only um, seven years. Yeah. And it, I mean, you obviously love working here. Yeah, yeah. Everybody we've spoken it, yeah. to just yeah. loves it here. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's very company. rewarding. Yeah. yeah very good to work. Don't you get bored working on the same things all day long? Well, we do lots of different things. It's a complete. It's one man, one car. So we right. start and build the whole thing. So there's there's loads of different things. It's a week's work anyway. So. So you, you know, put this whole thing together? Yeah, the whole thing, the whole car. Yeah. And what's this engine? Start and finish. This is the BMW 4.8 V8. Oh my God. Wow. The uh, 6 b auto or manual. Yeah. yeah. What a lump. <laughs> and working on a car like this, obviously there's, there's technical challenges, I presume, or is it all very simple to put no, together? No, it's, it's all designed, it all goes together. Yeah. Um, you know, basically assemble everything together. It's amazing. Absolutely it's amazing. Just, uh, once you once you're trained up and you know where everything goes. So your your training, I mean where where did you do all your training? In here. I mean literally there's no there's no build book, there's no instructions for it, so right, it's just okay. literally, you know, tag on with somebody, watch them yeah. um, build and train with you know, they basically train on the job yeah. and you do it over and over and over again. I made I personally made a load of notes. Yeah, yeah, I can did imagine, my own yeah. build book. And right. then okay. eventually, you know, you can go fly yeah. solo and build one. Using Amazing. your notes and then and then it's in there eventually. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's just yeah. second nature. Yeah, know, that's right. Yeah. Well, guys, Andy Turner, chassis assembler, top man. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Appreciate your yeah, time. Yeah, thank you. Let's carry on. See what else we can find. assembly shop and I'm with Henry Ray. Hello Henry. Hello. Nice Henry. to meet you. Yeah. And with all the noise going on, thank you. Henry fits wings and makes the actual body panels fit on this car. Well yeah, just trim the wings down and make them fit. Um, I've got one here pretty much ready to explain what I'm doing. What's it made of Henry? It's aluminium. It's a simple form of um, aerospace type aluminium. Um, it's not stretched in any way, shape or form, it's, it's not blown into shape, so they hit it. So it's like a yeah, plastic, yeah, molded yeah, plastic, yeah, for aluminium. Aluminium, for aluminium, of course. Fantastic. Yeah. Does it weigh a lot? I mean, no. it looks like you're really no, strong. No, it's, it's, no, seriously, grab hold of that, as she says. Oh my God, there's no weight in it at all. That's the main thing by the foot. And since it's yeah. aluminium, it, it's never going to rot. Oh no, no, no. It's, very durable, it's all they will treat it with something so it's a road salt on getting into it or anything. But I'll pop one on. There we go. And Look, basically what we'll do. Pop it on like that. Yeah. I'll clear it from the front. Yeah. It's amazing. 
See, it's just like Betsy that we have. Sort of held in place. Yeah. And the points we're looking for yeah. is that it lines in line with the wheel. Yep. See? That's perfect. Front end, you come, come around this way. It's in pretty much in line with the cow, this piece of the cow, to the bottom of that. And it's also got to be quite level with the line of the wing. So when they're together, and we'll get them to even up so they all look the same. That's amazing. Um, then we'll mark up under there. When, we're, when I'm happy with it, yeah. I'll mark up under here to where I'm going to trim it for. You'll probably see on this one. I don't know if you can get in that view. You'll see where I've marked. And we'll oh, yeah, you put a mark on it. I can see it, yeah. Yeah. And we'll basically trim it to that. So it'll fit this car, but it will only fit this car. It will, <laughs> it will fit near on another car, the similar But model, not, not but the same as No, 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 it's tailor-made. Wow. So and how many of these do you do a week? We do about ten, but, but I, personally I do about five, and my compadre over there, Jason, he also does five. So yeah, yeah. Pretty much share, share the work. And how long have you been here? 25 years? 25 years, yeah. So wow. And, and yeah. you obviously like it here if you've been here oh, 25 yeah. years. I was, I, I was never the brightest kid at school, but I enjoyed making go-karts, and here I am making, you know, I'm good with these. Ask my wife. Yeah, look at the state of them. <laughs> yeah. That's a real man's yeah. working yeah. hands. Yeah, good, 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 solid, yeah. <laughs> honest, honest work. But no, it's, it's amazing. I do enjoy making them. I, it's a recognisable product worldwide. Yeah. What else would you ask for? No, you it's a stunning and when you yeah. say, I work for Morgan, yeah, the pride, love yeah. it, yeah, it's good. Henry, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to oh, you know, a, say what I do. It's an absolute pleasure, thank you. Right. Thank Guys, you. let's crack on, we've still got tons more to see, and people like Henry are just, wow, how often do you get to come to a motor manufacturer's where you get to actually talk to the people building the cars? It's, this is one off. Finally, the wood workshop. And it does remind me a little bit of school because it looks like my school teacher's here telling me, don't touch that, don't glue that. Nigel. Nigel. How are you doing? Nigel Hall, ladies and gentlemen. And Nigel has worked here for a few years, I imagine. Yeah, uh, it's about 37 years. 37 years. Yeah. And with him is young Sam Kingaby, got it right, who is an apprentice here. How old are you, Sam? I'm 19. 19. Well, we're not going to ask Nigel his age because that's rude. <laughs> but we know he's been here a long time. So you're learning from. I'm learning from the best. Nigel, yeah. That gets even better when they say I'm learning from the best. He's got to say that because it's Friday and he wants to get off. <laughs> so guys, tell me a little bit about what what is going on here. These, it looks like you're building something out of wood. Yeah, we're we're building the whole body up. What we do is we've got all the parts which are on the shelves. Yep. So we pick all the parts up. And then what we do is we assemble them onto the bench and then we, we fit them all together and then just assemble them up to the whole body. And you use like screws and glue? Yeah, screw and glue. Um, what type of wood is it? It's ash, it's all ash. Ash. Uh, green by size. Right. Um, yeah. And I've got to ask Sam, what, what incentivised you to come and work for Morgan? Um, I live literally just over the hill. That helps. I've always been into cars. Yeah. Massive. And I've always been into woodwork. And right. My ideal thing to do would be to come here and build the frame for Morgan. I never thought it happened, but it did in the end. So you actually were at school thinking, yeah. I want to yeah, go and work yeah, for yeah. Morgan? In about year 9, year 10, year 11, I really wanted to do this. So I went to Hereford College, did a woodworking right. course, and at the end of that, the ideal thing would be to come work here. Right. And I was getting people telling me that they get so many apprentices trying to apply and they don't yeah. take anyone on. But in the end, I emailed about three times. Good man got an interview and then there was me and Zach out of 19 other people and we got it. So, Fantastic. Yeah. So Nigel, this must be like really humbling for you to see the young guys wanting to come and do this type of work. Um, yeah, it's nice in this day and age that they actually come up, yeah. you know, come to work, um, work, yeah. which is... Proper graph. Yeah. Which, with proper tools. <laughs> with, with, yeah, with hand tools, which yeah. a lot of people just want to sit on the computer or on their phone. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice skill. You know, it's hand-eye. Yeah. Work, and, you know, clean so it all up. Someone, someone like Sam, how long will it take for him to progress to actually become 
off the impression 40 years, I think. 40 years? <laughs> Never mind, Sam. Yeah, yeah. I've got a long way to go, yeah. mate. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's about a three, four year apprenticeship, I think. So. All right, okay. To, to, to do it. Do you have to go to college? Yeah, we go to college and do um, part two. Obviously, I've got the number one. Right. So I'll go and do number two and then number three. And then once number three's over, I'll probably just work here for the last year of my apprenticeship. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good choice because at the end of the day, I mean, this company's been here a hundred odd years, so you know, fingers crossed, touch the wood, yeah. nothing's going to change in the next hundred years. So, and you guys, it's a friendship, that's yeah, good for them, you know, actually get amazing. Out of it, so. But also having the tenacity to keep coming back, and going, I want a job, I want a job, I want to be in a friend. Yeah, you know, fair play. So that's what gives you places in life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, guys, I think you agree, these two are an absolute credit to Morgan. I mean, you've got the young and the, so the middle-aged, <laughs> not so young. And I mean that with all due respect, Nigel. Guys, thank you for taking the time to explain a little bit about the wood shop here. Good luck to you, Sam. Thank you. And uh, keep doing it. Thanks, Nigel. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. Guys, let's crack on. Still more to see. We're going to go and see some lovely leather making. Before we say anything, I'm here in my favourite part of this company, which is the leather shop. Um, I'll let you think about that one. And I'm with Stephanie Lewis. And Stephanie, correct me if I'm wrong, has been here for seven years. Is that right? And she used to be on an apprenticeship. Is that right? Yep. <laughs> Stephanie's not really shy. When she gets out of here, she's probably a party animal. <laughs> so, Stephanie, what are you actually producing at the moment? This is the start of it. So there's two stages to the hood, and this is the first stage of it. Right. And then we get it back after it's been marked off. And do you only do the hoods, or do you do all different aspects? Do all different things. Do the heat, the hood, the seats. Yep. All the extra bits, which is the hood covers. Wow. Side screen bags. It's a real. I, I mean, it's not like making a dress. This is it. This is proper hardcore. You can't say I've ever made a dress. Really? <laughs> I think you'd make a good dress. It looked like a car. It looked like a car. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a nice can't. hood. Morgan by Morgan. You're quite cool that. So how did you end up getting a job here? I know you had an apprenticeship but my mum used to work here. Yeah. So when I went to college and I wasn't overly happy at college. So she said there's an apprenticeship going at Morgan's. So okay. I thought I'd give it a go and got the job. And then seven years later I'm still here. Seven years later you're still here. Yeah. And then you know there's a lot of guys around here. You know, does that put you off when you're trying to sew? No. <laughs> Keep my head down. <laughs> Keep your head down, work hard. Yeah, give them as good as they get. I bet you do. <laughs> Stephanie Lewis, you've been a pleasure to talk to. Thank you so much. Cheers. Guys, Stephanie Lewis, making leatherware. Doesn't get much better here at the Morgan Motor Company. This is one place I've been dying to come and have a look at. This is the three-wheeler production plant. Now, if you're not aware what a Morgan three-wheeler is, look behind me, that's a Morgan three-wheeler. Hasn't got its uh, cover on it at the moment because it's being built. And I'm with Lee Jenkins. And Lee Jenkins is a three-wheeler builder. That's what you do for a living, right. which is fantastic. Lovely to meet you, Lee. Lovely to meet you. Thanks for taking the time. No problem. Lee, what? How many hours does it take you to build one of these cars? It takes just over 25 hours. 25 hours, that's yeah, it? That's it, yeah. So in a day you can build It can be a little bit longer with like additional extras and stuff. Right. It take a little bit longer, but yeah, standard work was about 25 hours. That'd be help. I'd have thought it'd have been about a week. <laughs> I mean, there's so much goes into this, so. Yeah, surprising. Tell me a little bit, what engine is this? It's a two litre V twin. Right. It's very torquey, got a lot of power. It's very, very fun to drive. But is it a motorbike engine? It is a motorbike engine. It's right. similar sort of style to Harley Davidson engine, V-twin. Okay. So yeah, similar sort of style to that. I know they make a lot of noise like a motorbike. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. Sort of pop, 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 pop. Yeah. I mean, did you, where did you 
let me start right at the beginning. So, how long have you been here? I've been here seven years next year. Yeah. Right. And you came in as an apprentice, or no, you already... originally I worked at the top doing the wiring. Oh, right. okay, yeah. When they came down here to start building the three wheelers, they picked a few people from different areas. And you had your hand and up. And I was one of those people. Yeah. Was you? Because <laughs> you were at the back of the class. <laughs> I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah. And now, obviously, you build the whole car from scratch. That's right, yeah, that's right. It's so nice in here because it comes in as a rolling chassis. Yeah. No parts on it whatsoever, and then you build it all up. Put the engine in, the gearbox, wiring in, floor pans, literally everything. So, so after seven years, you reckon you could do this blindfold? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so, this car itself, I mean, what sort of speed can you expect to get out of a three wheeler Morgan? I think, I think top speed is in the region of 115, 120 mile an hour. Seriously? If you're brave enough. I was going to say, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a brave um, man. 60, I think it's about 5, 5 mile a second, something like that. So, yeah, it's a quick car. Yeah. yeah. And you get two people in it? That's right, yeah. Do you drive one? Occasionally, I'm lucky enough to have one, yeah. So you get road tested? Yeah, occasionally, yeah. yeah. If you had one, what colour would you have it? That's a tough one, that is. That is a really tough one. Careful, guys, he might give away the best <laughs> colour here. Um, probably one of my favourite colours is Stingray, um, Stingray Metallic Grey. Stingray Metallic Grey? Yeah, yeah, that's one of my favourites. Okay. All right, well, we'll give him that. At least he was honest. <laughs> and that's the lovely thing about the Morgan Motor Company. Everybody you meet is so bloody honest. It's amazing. Who else lets you in a place like this and look at all their work? Um, Listen, I've got to say, it, thank you so much. That's all right, you're welcome. You, I know you're very busy. Everyone is so busy, and it's coming up to one o'clock, and you finish at half one, yeah, don't you? Yeah. It's a Friday. It's a <laughs> traditional thing around here. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thank, thank you, you so much for your time. Cheers. Guys, Morgan Three Wheeler, check it out. We've got video. If you click up here, it will drop down, and you can watch the three wheeler video that we did two weeks ago. It's amazing, and I actually got to drive one of these for three days. Stunning. Let's get round, let's get on with some more of the Morgan Motor Company. company but the final part and the most important part after all those things we've seen is someone like Chris Whitehouse's job to make sure that these cars go out in absolute pristine. Chris, lovely to meet you. Thank you for taking the time. I know you're very busy so we're going to be very quick guys because this guy's got a lot of work on today. What is your job Chris? What do you do? PDI technician. So the car comes into this area and basically we're doing quality checks of everything. So we check paintwork. Yep. Check interior, uh, any trim items, we'll make sure the spec's correct. Right. So, say you were to order a car and you said, I want, <laughs> uh, you know, black wheels with red interior and my initials on the seats and all that kind of stuff. It's we your we responsibility to make sure that that's all correct. It's the world. How long you worked here? Nine years. Were you an apprentice? Or yeah, I started as an apprentice. Really? So, and, but, I mean, is this something you wanted to do, or was it just Yeah, really I, I always wanted to work with cars in the automotive sense, yeah. I like, didn't want to work in an office and do a lot of cars. Yeah. Wow. So, 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 so you, went, you obviously went to college and did all that? Yeah, so the company put me through college as part of the apprenticeship. Cool. Um, uh, it's a four year apprenticeship. Um, and then it was qualified on your own, yeah, you're on top floor on your own. So yeah. you've, all the apprentices are really hands on there. Yeah. Um, so the whole way through your apprenticeship is it's not you standing around watching. Yeah. yeah. So when you're checking a car like this, then what are you looking for? So paintwork wise, um, you're checking for any imperfections, anything that may be on there, such as the, the trimmers, you yeah. know, they're all over the car, so you're looking for anything that, that may have been done by them. Paintwork boys, a lot of, when the cars are painted in the blue box, you can get little tiny imperfections that expect to do yeah, in the sure. summer. You, you must have good eyes 
Do you get them regularly tested? I, the spec savers love them. Spec savers, spec guys, savers. there's a little ad for them. <laughs> he needs free eye checks. Free eye checks. <laughs> Just con- dropped your name. Free contacts and all <laughs> Sorry, getting back to the yeah, job yeah. So, that's, so, so yeah, I mean, I can't, unfortunately, this is one that's been done, it's one of our sales cars, so there isn't yeah. anything on this. But imagine there's a small imperfection. We find that imperfection. Sand the clear coat, get rid of that. So you actually do the work as well, you're yeah, not just checking Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. We'll, we'll rectify anything that we find well, as a fault. So if there was a fault on, say, the leather bit around here, for example, would yeah. you then go to where they make yeah, the leather so bits? Yeah, we, we go to, say, the back of the seat, we go yeah. to the guy with the seat, um, and depending on what it is, obviously if it's a rarity, say it's damaged in some way, or um, a, a scar in the leather, yeah, that's yeah. quite a thing, you know, they don't get the power to get itself before. So is it true that cows come from Scotland, apparently? Uh, for one type of for one type of leather we use, yeah, we use yeah. all different. Uh, we use a couple of different manufacturers of leather, and, you know, sourced from different places. But yeah, no, that, that's for one of them. Actually. Um, and do you drive a Morgan? Not as my daily. <laughs> no, as <laughs> I can't daily. afford one. <laughs> but you get to back them yeah, out. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Drive and and, and the company's really good. You know, if you've got a, a special occasion, you can borrow a car for them. And they, oh. they will lend. They will lend. Them. And obviously it's a big responsibility, but it's... Uh, yeah, no, it's a lovely perk. Yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. it's all about, yeah. isn't it? It's working yeah. here and... Well, I just think, Chris Whitehouse, you're an absolute star, because I know you're so busy. Thank you so They're much really for taking the time. Fine, no I really Thank appreciate you. it. Guys, Chris Whitehouse telling us all what he has done for Morgan Motor Company and how he checks out these cars and makes sure when you buy one, if you get around to buy one, it's 100%. So we'll crack on from here. Thanks, Chris. So, guys, you've witnessed what it's like at the Morgan Motor Company here in Morgan. It's been a cracking day, and we've met some amazing people. Just some of the over 200 staff that this 100-year-plus company employs, and seeing how they use their unique talent to produce the most unique cars that I've ever driven or ever seen. It's a stunning company and it's going from strength to strength. 2017, they had their record year. Annually, they produced in excess of 850 cars, and that is a testament to itself. It's the amount of cars, it's the production facilities, but above all, there's a happiness here that you can really feel rings through and comes right through you when you're standing there talking to these people. They love working there. I loved visiting here, and you're going to love it too. If you want to come here, you can go on the website. You can book your own tour. You can come up here and have a look around, and they'll gladly show you around. It's well worth it. Don't forget, if you like what you're watching, smash that thumbs up, because we love it when you do that. Comments down below, and any additional things you want to tell me or ask me, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget, if you want to subscribe, simple. Hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you next week with another video from the player. Thanks for watching, guys.